Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to take this really old, ugly, dirty umbrella and turn it into a parasol. And yes, I am sitting on the floor today because reasons. So come with me on this journey. I absolutely love those roses. But no, this is not what I'm here for today. No. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to make a new sun umbrella with an umbrella that I already own. And this is going to be perfect. So the first thing is to take this off. So it's just taking it off. So now this umbrella is one of those that is sewn onto the rods in these two places. So I will have to take the stitches apart. For that, I'm just going to use a seam ripper, like so. So now I'm just going to go around and do that in all the places. So now it's all loosened all around, it's just taking this off. Like so. And here is the umbrella rods. Now, to make sure I don't lose anything, I'm going to take this piece that I took off in the beginning and just put it back on here so it won't go anywhere. Okay, so for the pattern, I'm going to cut out this triangle. I'm going to iron it thoroughly. my pressing class for this. This is about as flat as I can get it. So now for the pattern. So for making this pattern I'm just going to take my pencil which is this one and draw around this big rectangle and this circle over here. Here, I'm going to make the pattern different. So I just drew out about half the pattern because for cutting this out, I will lay my pattern pieces in half, like so. using my paper scissors for this. And here is the pattern piece, the main pattern piece for the umbrella. just have to do that about nine more times.
pattern pieces laying out nicely. Now what I'm going to do is sew them together with fringe seams. So come with me to the sewing machine. As you see, my machine does not have a lot of markings for seam allowance. So for sewing these, I'm going to use this funny looking foot and I'm going to use indentation number two. So let me put it on my machine. As I'm doing French seams, I'll first have to sew my fabrics together with the wrong sides facing each other. It is pretty hard to see, but right here is my seam at half a centimeter. So now I'm going to go and press this and then I'm going to fold it all around like so and again sew with half a centimeter seam allowance. So let me do that. So this is how I go about doing this. This fabric is pretty hard to press. So firstly, I am going to cut it. Do you see? This is what I cut off. That's not much. Then I'll just iron the seam out to make the stitches sit. Then, folding it out like so. Just gonna turn it around because that'll be easier later. And then I'm gonna press the seam to one side. As this fabric is so tough to work with, I'm going to pin it all the way down before pressing it one last time. This time I'm going to use pressing cloth. Now I'll go back to the sewing machine and sew this seam down. So it will be right sides to right sides. So again, I'm going to use the second groove here. And I am being pretty precise at placing this. And then sewing along. Don't forget to backstitch. And there we go, a French seam. That won't fray. So now I'm just going to have to do that to all of these pieces too. So now I'm gonna go iron all of the pieces and then I'm going to do it over and over again until I have assembled all of the pieces into one. And then I'll be back with you. So I now have all of the pieces sewn together and it's ready to be tried on my umbrella skeleton. And you might notice that it has no hole here, but that's no problem. A little bit of a scissor cut and then it's ready to go. I do have these two pieces that I'm going to put on one on each side. But I just tried on, so I just tried pinning on this piece of vintage lace that I showed you in the beginning. And it's this much too short. It's too short! Ugh. Now what am I gonna do? So now it's just taking off the lace again and then go and find something else to put on. Okay, so I just had a rummage around in my things and I found this roll of bias binding, which is just about the right color. And actually, 
I also have a bias binding foot, which is this one that I got from China. Well, I got it from China, but if I got it from Wish or I got it from AliExpress, I don't quite remember. I think it was Wish. And I'll leave a link down below. So I'm going to show you how this foot is working. So firstly, I do need to put it on my machine. Here we go. And then I'll fold up the bias binding, just like so, and put it through here. See if I can do this, like so. And then I'm going to take a few stitches. The bias binding do need to be put through long enough for the needle and the scrappers to grab onto it. And then it's just going, I hope. Like so. I think I need to move my needle just a tiny bit. Let's try again. Yep, there we go. So all there is to do now is to make sure that my edge is in between the bias binding and then just sew slowly around. So this is it. Now I am going to take the middle here and cut a hole in it so that I can put it through the top of my umbrella skeleton which I have right here. I'm going to turn it inside out to better see what I'm doing. This is the last seam I made so I'm going to cut into these stitches from both sides carefully. here there's a hole. I previously cut these two circles out to make it a little more sturdy. So now for the umbrella bones. Firstly take the one and put it on here then this and where did the other circle go? Here and this and then this and now I'm practically done I just need to sew this to the bones here okay so I'm back on the floor because I now need to sew this back together because this won't work so that's a hand sewing job and let me show you how it's done so first I want to pin all of the seams to all of these bones so I don't have anything that's twisted. So I'm just putting it on like this, finding a pin, just one, and pinning. And I'm going to do that all the way around. So I'm just going to put my needle through my seam allowance in through my hole. Oh, just the one. And pull. And then before I pull it all the way, I just want to put my needle through my thread. And then like so. And then it's just going through the hole again. And then just do this a couple of times. And there we go. That's how you make an umbrella into a parasol. Thanks for watching.
you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos from Judy's Creative Corner. Bye!